Hey everyone and welcome back. So doing a pickups video today, I had a couple things come in actually over the last two weeks. I know the creep show one I just posted a couple days ago, but that actually I had pre-recorded uh, like the week prior because that was actually the same day I got the uh, second poke for the coof and I got really sick right after. So I was like, that video got delayed just by a few days. Now, so this stuff has sort of been coming in. I kind of wanted to wait and get all of this in, just do it in one quick video. But it's an interesting assortment. It's a little bit different. Obviously there are some movies here and and uh, let's, let me just dive right into it. So let's see where to begin. Uh, I'm gonna actually save this for last. It's in the box here. I'm actually gonna go in a reverse order than I usually, I usually do the movies last, but actually I'm gonna do the movies first this time. So first up real quick, I know some of you have also gotten yours in, but I did indeed get the uh, Donnie Darko replacement disc from Arrow. Um, so I think in the UK, uh, these are shipping directly from Arrow. Now, if you're in the US like I am, uh, they ship out from MVD. So if you get a uh, package from uh, MVD, that's where uh, this is in. It did come in this case for a little bit extra protection, which I do appreciate. So hopefully no more replacement discs from anyone for a while. Hopefully we uh, solved all those problems. Speaking of Arrow, I got a couple, actually, you know what? Let me get back to the Arrow ones real, uh, just for a moment. Let me get through these real quick. So first up, um, actually, I did pick up the new 4K release of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I absolutely love this film. So it's like, it's, it, this was one, actually, the day it came out, uh, which actually, God, was that the same day I got, this is the same day I got the poke. Um, I actually went to Target, um, in the pouring rain just to get the kind they have one copy left and i was like i really want that today just just absolutely love it and speaking of mvd uh actually i got two of their new uh new releases from them but they're technically re-releases uh they're actually re-releases of uh older uh code red well i think one is code red one was scorpion or originally and the first one is the film mortuary and there's the front of the slipcover with that uh, poster artwork with that absolutely love. And there is the back of the Blu-ray. And of course, what I love about their uh, a lot of their releases is uh, for the first pressing, they do these slipcovers that sort of mimic like a uh, rental copy, you know, with like the fake stickers and everything. Of course, the inside just has the... Uh... Uh, actually, hold on. I think this actually... Yeah, so here's the inside and actually does come with... A reprint of the poster which is a nice touch and then the other one from MVD is the house on sorority row and there's the front of the slipcover and there is the back and again same thing it's you know the slipcover sort of looks like a rental copy with the fake stickers on it and uh, so this is so just so you can see the inside right there so this is actually a release of the scorp the second scorpion I think it was the second one uh, version which had uh, a, a newer transfer really nice transfer um, and like all the extras and everything. So technically I didn't need to buy this, but actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I am a fan of the film. I'm just gonna admit it. The slipcover probably did it for me. <laughs> and I did order them uh, from Ronin, Ronin Flicks. So they actually came with two little magnets with the original artwork on them. So then the next three uh, ones I actually got from Arrow. I actually ordered them a while ago, but um, I didn't realize two of them hadn't been uh, technically released for a while. So actually this is, order has been on hold for like two months. <laughs> so first up is the 4K limited edition of David Cronenberg's Crash. This is one of their box sets. This is the limited edition. There's a side there and there is the back. Pull it out real quick. So this has, uh, obviously there's the disc and there's the inside. It's cool, it comes with a couple just picture reproductions there. See there's one and two and three, another one. And another one, oh, I think I can show that. Yeah, yeah it doesn't show anything. <laughs> Just checking. And there's a great one of Cronenberg there with the two crash cars. And of course, being one they're limited edition, it also comes with uh, the poster. I think this is the UK poster for Crash, which you can see right there. And then on the back, of course, it has their newer uh, artwork. And of course, it has one of their amazing booklets as well. Tons of information. I'm a little careful. I don't know if any of these pictures are not safe for the tubes. Happy to finally get that, as uh, I think some of you pointed out, because I tried to get it a while ago, and I was like, oh, man, it's sold out already. And somebody was like, you can still order it from Arrow. So I did, so thank you for that. Definitely a very twisted film, but I'm a huge David Cronenberg fan um, kind of thing. And, like, uh, I really like Crash because um, it's so different. So happy to get that. Although and there is a standard edition, so for those of you who are looking for it, who may have missed out on the um, limited edition, there is a standard release of it as well. Speaking of standard releases, uh, this will come to a surprise to none of you, I'm sure. But yes, 
I did in fact order the standard releases of Demons and Demons 2. These are the Arrow releases. Uh, the verse has their new uh, artwork on it. And of course, what I love, you know, it's just like there's, you know, the original poster artwork. And again, the thing is, I mean, over the limited edition, I mean, it has the 4K disc and it is the corrected one, uh, as well as the uh, Blu-ray. This comes with this nice little tiny booklet, which I think has a little bit of writing and just a couple pictures. Not as nice as the one I've seen the limited edition one, but still, I mean, it's more than you usually get with their standard releasing releases and obviously it has this outer box which is really nice this is definitely similar to uh vinegar syndrome's uh vsa title type boxes and then obviously with demons 2 same thing as well you know 4k disc on the inside and then the uh blu-ray there i said i was gonna do it and i did so i did get the standard release. i just actually kind of prefer i mean i like the limited edition i like the stuff that it came with I'm not crazy about the outer box kind of thing but i'm a huge fan of demons and demons 2 and yes i did pre-order that about a month out from synapse uh announcement even though i knew the synapse one was coming so i'm gonna have multiple versions of demons but that's okay because it, it'll just make you know when i do the comparison uh review it'll just make it that much easier find a copy of of the arrow set to uh compare it to so that's it for the movies but next up i got some cool things so as i mentioned before i did get some stuff from creepy company and i did get a creep show shirt which they, they started doing a lot more shirts this is a t-shirt uh as you can see here it's got the creep uh over the uh red pocket not sure i'm too crazy about the red pocket but it's creep show and i love that image from the comic book plus this creep show you know it's like i had to get it and then i was able to finally get the uh ooh, goes this way the evil dead uh pillow which is here because this was all this was all the stuff on sale so i got uh you know their pillow here which i'll add to this couch to go with my uh, creep show one and i'm gonna open this for the first time if i can where's the opening I did finally get, this is the last one that I wanted, I already got the uh, Creep Show, the Halloween, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. And finally, I did get the Evil Dead throw blanket, um, which is going to be fun trying to pull this out for you guys to see. But as you can tell, so it has the original. Uh, so again, these nice thing, it's cool thing about these throw blankets is that they sort of mimic um the vh i have this thing upside down don't i they mimic the vhs box so the front obviously has the original poster artwork and then the other side of the blanket if i can do this properly sort of mimics like the back of a vhs box as you can see there absolutely love it so happy to finally get it i really wanted the the evil dead one uh, that was like the last one that they have uh, that I really wanted. Come out with, I hope they come out with more because they're a lot of fun to have. Although I, I don't know how many of these sort of blankets I really need, but you know. <laughs> and then finally, uh, this is something, speaking of sale, this was something I grabbed uh, a little while ago, but it took a while to ship. And I've not even pulled it out of the box yet. Ooh, and I'm spilling the popcorn all over. I don't even know if they arrived all right. And these are the, uh, from Waxwork Records. These are the Halloween 3, um, what do you call them? Uh, turntable spinners. Isn't that what they're called? Spinatures. So here's one. Looks cool. There's the uh, kid in the skeleton mask right there. Oh, there's the size, a better look of what it's going to look like. And there's the back of the box. And I did get all three. They were on sale. They were on sale like half off. I'm actually surprised they even still have them. I was like, well, I'm grabbing them. So real quick, here is the, and there's the pumpkin uh, one, pumpkin, the kid in the pumpkin mask, or the jack-o'-lantern rather. And there is the side, better look. And there is the back. And then finally... Here is the witch costume one right there. There's the side of the box with a better image. And there is the back. Let's see if I can hold these up without problems. So there's all three of them there. Hopefully you can see them okay. Holding them kind of awkwardly. But yeah, there's all three. I wanted to actually get those for a while. I kind of debated it because I was like, you know, I, yes, I want... You know, again, much like Creepshow, it's like anything Halloween 3 I'm going to grab. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, I do ha kind of have to have limits somewhere. But then it was like, oh, they're half off. Ah, I can't say no. So I 
did not say no. But I kind of figured, I mean, yes, I can put them on my record player, but actually they would probably look pretty cool on my Halloween 3 shelf. Although my Halloween 3 shelf now is actually kind of full. So that's it for this pickups video. Obviously a lot coming in. I don't think I have anything else coming in that I know of. And then I say that and more stuff shows up and I'm like, oh, right, I forgot I ordered that. But I think that's probably it until uh, I get back from my trip, uh, which is in a couple weeks. But then I should, I probably will have stuff coming back from that, which is fine because there are plenty of other videos I need to make, some reviews and other things that I need to get to. So I definitely want to get moving on those. So definitely let me know if you picked up anything recently as well. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.